What's up, everybody? Look, we're going to keep it like this, man. I tell everybody, man, you got to be exact with your intentions. You have to be exact with your intentions. Your intentions are what you want. You need to be exact. You need to be detailed. See, I was talking to my son, just like I talk to other kids. <clears throat> and I asked my son, I said, man, what, what, what do you want? When you when you are completing high school, going to college, what do you want? He told me I want to go to the NFL. I said, cool. I said, that's all you want? He said, well, you know, I want to go to the NFL, but then I want to have my own, you know, veterinarian business and all that stuff like that. I said, okay, that's cool. I said, so we're going to let a week pass, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to ask you again what you want. Week passed by, came back. I say, son, what you want to do? What you want to be when you grow up? <clears throat> he said, I want to go to the NFL. I said, okay. So what I did <clears throat> is I pulled up all these names. I pulled up famous top tier football players. I pulled up head coaches, coordinators. I pulled up commentary people. I pulled up referees. I pulled up people who do the manicure, who keep stadiums up. I did all that. You know, and I told them, I said, look at this list. <clears throat> Every Everybody on this list, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, is in the NFL. Everybody not playing on the field. Everybody ain't the top of their position. Everybody ain't a high-paid athlete. So when I ask you what you want to do, tell me exactly what you want. What are your intentions for where you want to go? Because all these people, the referees made it to the NFL. The coaches made it to the NFL. The uh the people who keep up stadiums, they all made it to the NFL in their own right. What exactly do you want from the NFL? We have to be direct with our intents. We have to be detailed with what we want. Exactly what you want. You, you need to be detailed with it. You need to put it down because you know now what you got to chase. You know what I'm saying? You, we we got to stop being vague with our dreams. We got to stop being vague with our future. Stop being like, stop just saying, I want to go here. No, be exactly about be exact about what you want to get from this. You know, be exact about what you want from your experience. Be detailed about exactly what you want. You can't say I just want to be rich. Well, rich is subject. It's relative. It's, 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 it's you know, rich is anything. You know, be exact, man. I, when it's all said and done, I at least want to amass two hundred million dollars after taxes. That's mine. Be exact about it. Be exact about your business. You know, stop just saying I want to be a rapper. Stop just saying I want to be in a rap game. You know how many people are in the actual rap game? You got road managers. You got managers. You got a &Rs. You got label owners. You got all that. All that is in the rap game. Everybody ain't the rap on the stage. You have to be exact about what you want. People say, I just want to be in business. Exactly what in business? What you want for business? What type of business? What you looking for out of the business? What you looking to bring to that business? We have to be exact about our intentions. We have to be exact about our dreams. Because when you exact, that means you can go look at your vision board and you can be like, oops, I, I scratched that off. I scratched that off. I scratched that off because this is exactly what I wanted. I scratched that off. This is exactly what I said I was going to do. This is exactly what I said I was going to do. I scratched that off. Be exact, folks. Be exact. It's no more time for vagueness. It's no more time just for um, just putting it in the park. No, be exact about what you want. Being exact, being detailed is very, very vital to your future. It's like me. I'm in communications. I love to communicate. I'm in communications via entertainment. That's what I want to do. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be exact with what I want to do. Yes, I want to have me a podcast. I'm working towards that. Yes, I want to be an actor. Yes, I very well do want to be an actor. I'm working towards being an actor. Yes, I want to have my own TV shows. I want to have my own movies. Yes, I, I want to do all of it. I'm, I'm exact about what I want. When it's all said and done, the money that I want to amass after taxes, when my career is over with, I at least want to have at least $600 million. If I happen to get a more, if I happen to get a billion, Trust me, I ain't going to be mad, but I want to at least make over $600 million after taxes when my, when my career is over with. That's what I want. You know, I don't have to have a billion, but guess what? That billion come my way, I'm taking it. You know what I'm saying? But my exact number when I'm done is I want to have at least over $600 million. I own everything. Everything is paid for. 
but I still got $600 million liquid cash that is mine when it's all said and done. That's, that's, that's my goal. You know what I'm saying? I want to start college. I want to start scholarships. I want to do all that. I'm exact. You know, I have a vision now. Me and my wife are about to write a vision together as a couple. She has a vision. My wife's fit to get her master's degree right now. Beautiful. I've seen her pray and ask for exactly what she wanted. And guess what? I watched over a series of about 10 years. That get marked off the list. That get marked off the list. That get marked off the list. Why? Because she had something to look at every day. And she had a goal to set by a certain time. And she stayed focused on that. And she knocked them off her list. And now she's about to get her master's degree. Beautiful thing. Plan it. Write it down. Put your goals in front of you and start and start crossing them out the list, folks. Start crossing them out the list.